Okay. <laughs> Another incident. The beast decided to topple over. It's March 2nd, about 11.40 a.m., and she's full of spikes. I'm not sure how many has been broken, but from what I'm looking at right now, that's definitely broken. Okay, she hit the ground, and of course she cracked. She was top heavy. Okay, and uh, she couldn't take the watering. The water hit the water from the, the hose hit her, and it just knocked her over. That's how top heavy she was. Oh my God. Um, but I do have some good news this Saturday. Um, after I get this girl cleaned up here, or this beast cleaned up and put in another pot, well, now it's the opportunity to throw her in a bigger pot. <laughs> That's just all I'm saying. There's a reason for everything. I might lose a couple of spikes, but that's okay. I'll gain them next growing season. Oh, gosh. Here we go again. And Miss Muffet is just so nosy. What is it, Muff? Muff. <laughs> what? You're not going back out there. You can forget it. All right, let me get this mess cleaned up because I got to go to the coach store and get me another purse. The one I have is like six, seven years old. I definitely got my hundreds of dollars worth out of that. So I'll be doing some shopping today, and if they'll let me video the coach store today, we'll do a quick uh, video on the purse that I'm going to buy today. All right, hang in there. <sighs> okay, wow, I got her in a... 6.4 liter pot and she definitely fits. I have a lava rock on the bottom with a piece of coconut fiber lining the bottom uh, uh, of the 6.4 liter but this is a big this is a big guy. Uh, I lost one spike and stuck it in here. I'm gonna see if it'll still bud for me. I'm just gonna put it in a in a vase and see if it'll still uh but it probably won't i don't know but uh i crippled two others let's come around here got a splint here this is the one i showed you definitely broke but it's not it's still attached so as long as they're still attached there's some hope and i have it tied on with some I don't know what you call that, uh, Velcro. Yeah, these spikes are, they're so heavy. They're really, really heavy, top heavy. So it just, it just brings her down. And I have no idea how many spikes. So let me take some time to see if I can count them. This is two here splinted on there. There's three, four, five. That's that one curled around there six so that broke seven that might be okay let me start over threw me off that's why I don't like counting spikes I get distracted okay I think this is the one that just broke off I said I would repot up let's see where to put it oh, there it is yeah oh if only I could tape you back on okay okay two three Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. I'm just going to say fifteen, sixteen. I'm just going to say sixteen and uh, seventeen with that, but I'll count them. I'll count them again. So I think she has 17 spikes versus uh, six or seven last season. And they're heavy. They're just so heavy. And um, can you imagine them being even? Did you break? Uh, no, but you did bend a little bit. So just imagine when all of those flowers open, how heavy it's going to be. And. Oh my God, then she's got three new growths that I can see. There's one here, two, three, 
So she needs a 6.4 liter pot, probably bigger. But for now, that's what I'm going to sit her in. And then I'm going to top it off with some river rock to make sure, to give us the pot some stability. But I am so sorry for knocking it over with the water. I had no idea that, uh, wow, she was that top heavy until the water hit her and just she just toppled over. And uh, left that little mess, not much of a mess. I'm going to use those shards uh, just to line the pot for drainage. But yeah, and uh, I have some good news here while I got the camera. I got some inflorescence on my Walkeriana kinnies. They're coming along just fine. Let's see if we can peek in there. And looks like the thrips got to that. Definitely. If it's not the thrips, it's Cuban snails. I tell you, I can't win for losing. Maybe this guy will survive in there. Those inflorescence. Okay, I'm going to spray them again. And did I show this one? They're coming out. The buds are there. Yeah. Absolutely. So hopefully we'll see some flowers. Here's a new inflorescence coming. We're starting there. Absolutely. So there's there's some good news today. And let's hope uh, this new bud kicks out something for us later on. But yeah, I finally got them to bud up, trying to protect them from the snails. And now the thrips want to join in and uh, cause me pain. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm going to tack on some other footage to, uh, to this vid. Uh, good news, I hope, and no more bad news. So yeah, so, let's just count the spikes on the encyclia. I think we did that already. One, two, three, four, five, six. We got seven back there counting the one that blasted, but I'm just going to count seven. Okay, and everything is still coming along, doing just great. Yeah, so I'm going to clean up this mess and head down to, uh, what? Yeah, and head on down to the, the coach store down in Homestead, uh, I think it's Florida City, Florida, just south of me, and yeah, about maybe 30 or 40 miles, so. We're going to go down there and let's see if I can get a purse today. I'm the kind of person that will wear a purse out. I don't have thousands of purses in my closet. I don't play that. I find one good purse that I can wear the heck out of and get my money's worth and uh, purchase another one when it's time. Yep. So we're going to take a break here and clean up the mess. And, um, yeah, and come back a little later to tack on, wow, that one leaf cat is really, really doing her thing. Oh, that might bud. I got a feeling that's going to bloom, you know, give me a flower. Oh, yeah, because she's so determined, and that leaf is just so gorgeous. That's a gorgeous leaf, girl. You told me to give you a shot. And I heard you. I was listening, girl. Yes, I was. All right. So, um, we'll come back later. Okay, I found a 9.8 liter pot that I'm going to put a, put the beast in for now. I'm just going to sit, sit the 6.4 and her on the inside of that pot until I can get get around to uh, repotting her up and uh, some more media. She's pot bound anyway, so it was time. And I'm sure the buds would be fine. I don't think anything could hurt them unless they hit the floor. All right. Okay, I got her up off the floor, up off the ground, got everything cleaned up. I'll probably throw that over on the east garden where all the stones are and I have a sitting in uh, almost a 10 liter pot if she, if this beast keeps growing like this I'm going to have to divide it I have no choice yeah because 
she's sitting in 6.4 and with the 10 liter kind of giving her some stability until I can get around to uh, repotting her she's huge she just keeps growing and growing and growing or I can stick her out on the east garden where there's plenty of room for her. perhaps that's what I'll do underneath the arborvitae vita or out in direct sun see how she takes that not direct sun she'll have some some shading because the money tree keeps growing and money tree can provide shade for her and I think she'll be just fine but she has totally outgrown her space back here on the wog oh my goodness I, I wanted to turn those broken flower spikes around so I can see it, but they're on that side. I think they'll be okay out of the way in hopes that they'll continue to grow on. I have to be careful when I come through here. Don't break any spikes, but she'll be, let me see how stable. Oh yeah, the water, the water won't knock that. I can water her and that. She's not going anywhere. She's, she'll be fine until I can get her divided. Woo! Incident with the beast today. And, uh, Rips eating up my Kenny. Who is that other Kenny Walkeriana that look like uh there it is. Just ate out my buds. Yeah. The lighting is bad, but you can see they ate out those buds. I just finished spraying the rest of them. So uh the buds should be fine, I hope. Yeah, I at least got to get these kidneys to bud and bloom. I've been through so much hardship with them. <gasps> Trying to ensure their survival back here. All right. All right, I got everything cleaned up. I'm off to the coach store and probably uh, stop by some of the orchid shops just to see. I don't want to think Fairchild is going on right now. We got Fairchild orchid show going on we got an orchid show in Tampa going on so quite a quite a bit uh, of orchid activity going on this weekend but I'm not right now after this beast incident I'm not in the mood to be putting anything else back here they they grow too fast they're eating up my my real estate back here <laughs> oh my god they're going to force me to buy another home not hardly <laughs> not at those prices but yeah yellow bird is is enjoying herself yeah she just opened up some buds today this morning and she's looking fabulous and smelling fantastic yeah i gotta get my my brew under control here it's a stinky winky one gotta get a lid over it because it smells but the orchids love it. And I had an incident with scale on the Crestwood. They just totally devoured the leaves. I'm getting ready to lose that leaf. They, it lost all its leaves due to scale for some reason. They decided to attack it after she finished blooming. She could have been a little weak after the blooming. I didn't get to feeding her or replenishing her nourishment after she finished um budding but I cleaned her up with some peroxide and it looked like perhaps I got them they didn't affect the cakeys so I have three cakeys coming along so they didn't totally take her away from me but they did destroy those leaves oh they were dropping off like flies but I think I got them so I'll keep an eye on her and if I lose her due to scale I'll just buy another one Crestwood is a beautiful beautiful orchid and one that I want in my garden so nothing's going to stop me from uh, having Crestwood. Not even threat. Oh my goodness. That's a huge sheath. I wonder what you are coming out of there. Finally maybe I'll get to see you. Alright. Keep on pushing on. Big fat. Let me see. Oh. 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 That's a fat knot right there. Maybe there's something in there. I just love it. 
All right, let me go get my purse. Yeah, I just came out to take a quick look on the East Garden before heading out to the coach store. Gray Sado is in full bloom, sort of, kind of. Have a couple more buds to open. And this Gray Sado is doing good. And this unidentified then fell turned out to be something wonderful. <laughs> I had no idea that she would somewhat mimic my favorite, my favorite Den Fowl. I love that oriental gesture. Beautiful. Definitely keep you in my collection. Absolutely. It looks like uh, Bar Bartley Schwartz, I believe. That's the name of it. It's kicking out a spike for me. Yeah. I wasn't even expected to pull through. Not at all. Let's look at the tag. Yeah. That's who that is. Nice spike there. Parting the shoes. Buds are coming along fine. Found that normally. And it looks like my favorite den fowl. It's kicking out another spike. Absolutely. Not sure on this. I, I, could, I can't believe the name just, whatever. All right, let me just move on. Probably because I spend too much time out here. The, the name just totally slipped. My memory. It looks like the Ludimiani, Ludiminiana is opening up her flower today. It's lovely. Absolutely. I think because I've got something else on my mind. I need to get out of here and go to that store. And that bud is still coming along inside the sheath. Looking good. And mosquitoes are biting the heck out of me. Alright, and here's one that didn't totally want to give up on but it's it's struggling but I'm gonna repot it today I keep it on the East Orchid and Garden because it's a lot cooler ah, mosquitoes and then uh, it kicked out a new growth here for me which is fantastic I keep it barely moist there's a new growth so that's they're telling me that it's gonna try so I'm gonna keep it out here and um, still haven't gotten that cakey from my Mother's Day phalaenopsis. Yeah, but her flowers are gorgeous. Yeah. Kicked out three spikes. Yeah. And that little nubbin that I thought was a cakey right here is still pushing along. It's coming along. Absolute. Oh, okay. It came back to me. It looks like this Grammatophyllum scriptum variety leopard growth here. I don't know. It's it's a spike season. And then again, this girl was kicking out new growths this time of year too. So I'm not sure what it is. So we'll have to wait and see. I'm hoping that it's my first spike after. Well, this is a rebloom not first bite. I'm hoping that this is a rebloom and not another new growth. I bodied them. What a loud, obnoxious truck. I think that's a Silverado with Flowmasters on them. I hate it. That's a man thing. Although I did have Flowmasters on a Mustang years ago. <laughs> I was just as bad. <laughs> That's the way it is. Oh, I got a couple of new acquisitions to the garden. I picked up um, my first tree fern from Australia. Yeah, I can't wait to get it potted. Let me see, let me see if I can get the tag out for you. Yeah. Hope the lighting isn't too bad. But yeah, that's my Australian tree fern. I think it's lovely. And I think it'll be very happy in this garden. And I picked up, uh, what else did I, oh, I picked up another acacia, 
Yeah, they had them at the Home Depot for, I think, $10. I also have one there in the garden. It's doing fine. These garden is just lovely. I gotta fill up my bird feeder. Oh, and I picked up another Vermilia. Um, what do we call these? Earth stars. Yeah, they seem to be doing pretty well in the garden. I picked, I want to collect all colors of them. It's just like green with pink trimming. It's beautiful. And this is more like an cool animal print, like alligator, alligator hide. <laughs> yeah, it's lovely. Let me see what that bud is doing on Queen of the Night. <laughs> She had a bud, and it looked like it dropped off, perhaps. Oh, well, that's the end of that. Maybe I missed it. Mr. Blooming. Oh, is that it? Nope, that's not it. Yeah, well, that was quick. I don't know what happened to it, but since it's in blooming mode, I'll perhaps I'll get to see others yeah somebody's having a birthday party today but yeah yeah that's outside looking in not bad at all Ooh. and here These queen Boston ferns. Yeah, this was my Christmas display. I didn't change it. Didn't need to. It was okay. Well, let me see what else I can pick up to throw out here in the garden today. Gave myself a little privacy on this side. At night, his lights are just so bright. I like my plants to sleep. So I just hung some my bird's nest and another queen of the night spathoglossum yeah i just hung those from a, a branch to give to block out some of that light and it seems to be doing well absolutely absolutely so yeah it's coming along coleus is definitely enjoying itself yeah and this file is going crazy. Secondary spiking off primary spiking is just, whoa, going crazy. It's looking a little cray cray. Spike is coming along. Mm -hmm. Everything is doing fine. Today, before I go shopping <laughs> at the cold store, if I can get out of here, this is how it grabs me when I walk out the door, you know. I get stuck and then eventually I don't know if that's getting too much sun or not I don't know what how it looks looking through the camera because I can't see anything the sun is behind me now but it's still bad nights are sunlight staying days are getting longer what am I trying to say okay and uh, yeah Looks like things are coming along fine. Oh, new growth. Time to water more. Definitely. Absolutely. New growth season. Time to water more. Absolutely. Thought I saw some budding on my Hoya. It's probably that Hoya through there. Let me see if she's blooming. I think she's blooming. I thought I saw something. Oh, yeah. A little bud hanging. Where is it? You can see that right there. Yeah, and then there's another little tiny bud hanging there. Let me see, Let's see if I can get in here for you. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Got a little budding here. There we go. And got some budding here. 
mosquito. Oh, we got new flowers coming in here. Oh, so she's doing much better this year. I think that every year they do a lot better. Here's some more. Look at that. I'm going to put some lotion on my hands. Been out back cleaning up messes and that I did. And didn't moisturize my hands. Yeah, so that's going to be a nice show this year. This is the spatoglottis that I hung up for a little more privacy. My large bird's nest and a queen of the night. So this should fill out this fill out this corner really, really good. Very good. Yeah. yeah, very nice. And here's that Hoya that's climbing up the tree that I tried to show you. Her branches are just going up the arborvita. She blooms also. She's all the way on that side in there too. She's doing because she's loving it. Absolutely. Okay. Let me try to get out of here and go shopping. Yep. Time to go. Okay. I finally made it to coach. So let me get over here and go see if I can find something. It's pretty crowded today. <sighs> I don't like to park where there's a whole bunch of cars. I like to park alone by myself. Yeah. 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 Sorry. I was talking to somebody behind me. Yeah, it doesn't look too bad. No, I'd rather do this than go online. So. They got a sale going on in there. My little nieces and nephews and new, brand new babies. Yeah. Co-worker just had a baby girl, so I might go in there and see what I can find. I hate walking behind somebody that's smoking. Yeah, breathing secondhand smoke. Trying to get out of the way. That cigarette. It's a really disgusting, nasty habit. I had to walk around to see if they changed anything, added new stores. Okay. I'm going to go in and see what I can find. I don't know if I'll be able to find anything today or not, but I'm going to take a look. Okay, I'm at the register at the coach store. So I think I'm going to pick up this little small clutch. And this I can take for lunch and my book bag. 
got my book bag here at the coach store in Florida City, right? This is what right there. I'm gonna trade in my old bag, which is here. It's like six or seven years old. It's time to retire it. So these are my purchases today. Okay, I'll talk to you soon. Bye. It. Oh my goodness, it's been a long day. Made it back from shopping. As, as a matter of fact, I'm just unloading a car. So I just decided to do um, a short clip on what I picked up today. Um, of course, I got footage of going to the coach store. I got me a, a nice, let me take out a bag here. I got me a nice uh, book bag. Yeah, I'm not going to do the big purse anymore. I'm just going to load everything up in the, let's see if it'll stay up there. Load everything up, up in the book bag. Coach from the coach store. Okay. I'm not sitting it on the floor. Okay. And then when I get to work and we're going out to lunch, then... I'll just take this little small purse here or a little nice little clutch bag. Okay. So I got these three items from the coach store today. Absolutely. I love uh, spring sales, but coach is really not. <laughs> okay. Let me pause and put this back in the bag before I get it dirty. Okay, and then I went by my favorite place to pick up a couple of orchids. I know the lighting is probably awful, isn't it? Isn't that better? I'm not sure what her name is. I'm going to get the tag out. Uh, let's see what she is. Oh, she's fragrant. Absolutely. I'll take it any day. Okay. And then, got a couple of vendors. Um, AM, AM, I think it's AOS. Vandas. I don't know who this is. Probably the same. Um, oh, that's Robert, Robert Delight Black. Okay, that's good. There were bag babies, of course. And I picked up three of these. I love those red cats. I have one in bloom now. Out back. But the thrip is killing it. So these are the ones that I have. That are in. Let me pause so I can get the name out. Okay. They're little tiny things. But they'll grow fast in my garden. This is the name. Yeah, come on. Yeah. All right. So I have three of those little seedlings to give them a shot in my garden. Absolutely. And I have three of these. No, no, no. I have one of these. I don't know. Maybe I do have more. Okay. No, I have one Mokara and uh, two red cats, perhaps. What's in here? Oh. Which is this? Okay, that's that. Look like I purchased all red, all red orchids today. But when I take them out, I give you a good look at them. Oh, I got two Makaras, yellow, and one Makara. These are two Makaras, Makaras or Makara, whatever you want to call it. But anyway. That's just a brief look. Oh, and I got some lovely canna bulbs to plant. And I got 
black magic elephant ear I just love it it's gorgeous and picked up something unusual to put in a garden absolutely it looks like an iris I love it so I have how many of those did I find okay I just found one and um oh I picked up these pots here go GoPro or some kind of pro pots for my uh, my Australian fern tree I'm gonna pot in there and then I'm gonna repot some um, that out the way. I'm, uh, let me go out here and see what I threw out here I'm going to pop my tree fern in that. Oh, yeah. I picked this up also. Another canna. And she's in bud, right? Where's the bud? Where are you, bud, 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 bud? She needs, she's in need of a repot for sure. I got her from Lowe's. And that is the canna that I have. And this pot. Maybe I'll put the tree, the tea, your the tree fern in there. Alright. I'm not trying to think of anything else I picked up today. Like that wasn't enough. But I'm so in love with my tree fern. I can't wait to get it potted up. I'm gonna... Where am I gonna put it? Probably over there behind the... um crepe myrtle to give it some shade or on the inside of the decompression area there to give it shade I'm sure it's going to grow pretty fast or I might just sit it here in this spot until it starts to grow yeah I've got plenty of places to put it that's for sure mm, I had to take my bird feeder down because it's empty again. They leave nothing. <laughs> oh, it's time to fill it up again. But I love it. I love watching the birds come through. Hey, you scratchy, scratchy. Okay. That was a long shopping day today. I'm tired. I'm exhausted. And um, I know I forgot something. Yeah, because I did. That's not all the haul I picked up. I did pick up some more river rock. I'm just trying to think, what the heck did I do with them? Um, that might be it. That's bad when you forget what you bought, what you done bought. It's time to stop spending money. I don't think so. I just need to slow down a little bit and catch my breath. I just dropped my girlfriend off too, and she was tripping. She wants to go back out and enjoy the evening. So feels like I need a nap. But we'll see how the day goes or the rest of the evening. Yeah. My grandma to follow them here. I wanted to show you something. These little tiny bulbs, what they're doing, I pulled back this, this sheath here. I pull back the sheet there and I'm hoping um those are spikes but I don't know they have a long way to go a bulb I don't I don't even I don't know if these are bulbs I think these crazy uh grammatophyllums are getting ready to spike and here's another one look at that so I stuff more spag in around their roots just in case I think these are spikes or I'm hoping these are spikes these guys are capable of spiking at this size once the bulbs you know grow or develop into bulbs I was told they can spike so I've been taking very good care of them yeah so they might they're gorgeous little bulbs very nice very nice bulbs. I'm so proud of them from 
for coming such a long way and still keeping up the fight. All right, this is Saturday, the 2nd of March and beginning of spring. This is my spring haul. That's what I'm going to call it. And um, it's time to start potting up and uh, getting things ready for spring. Absolutely. Yeah. This is, I'm looking forward to this can of here. I think it's gorgeous. Pica Picasso. Isn't that gorgeous? Look at that. Look at the detail. Along with my Mokara Vandas. <laughs> Very colorful garden this spring I'm trying to put together here. Improve the garden a little bit. I got a lot of green out there. I want to put some put some flavor in it. Yeah, I'm gonna put a little flavor in it and uh, have some fun. Absolutely. Thanks for stopping by. Thanks for watching. And have a great spring shopping day. <laughs> Ooh, I'm glad I don't have to answer to no one when I spend money. It's mine. All mine. <laughs>